Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to check out a bunch of new leaked Yu-Gi-Oh cards, plus there's a bunch of other things that we're going to be talking about. But anyways, so there's new Fire Fists and Gadgets. We already knew about that, but we didn't know their effects or their pictures. And if you click on the uh, database now, it just says coming soon. So I guess they removed it. But if you're watching this video before we get that copy strike, you know, drop a like on this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, we've got new uh, gadget support, again, Fire Fist, and then we got some other cards to talk about. But anyways, um, via the organization page, uh, they don't have any of the pictures. I guess they all got removed, but uh, we already have them, again, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So first off, I'm going to go in the order that they released them in, just because it might make a little bit more sense that way. I don't skip out on anything. So anyways, uh, new gadget support. Uh, first off, we have the Boot Up Corporal Command Dynamo. So it's a monster, level 4, machine, uh, effect, zero attack, 2,000 defense points. It says you can target up to two machine gadget monsters you control or in your graveyard with uh, different names. Special summon this card from your hand and then equip those targets to this card regardless of its type. You can only use this effect of boot up corporal command dynamo once per turn. And it gains 1,000 attack for each monster equipped to this card by this effect. So it's basically 2,000. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, some of the names or the wording on the card might change because these are from like the OCG translation because they had technically it up first, but it got, you guys can see that, like I said, it's gone. Uh, but that's uh, Command Dynamo. Uh, anyways, next up we got a new, like, I kind of want to call it their boss monsters of the boot up because it's, it's, it's four gadgets, but anyways, it's like its own maybe archetype. Anyways, boot up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. Uh, it's level eight with 2,500 attack and defense and it's a machine. Um, and it says, cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned from your hand by sending two gadget monster cards from your hand and or face up on the field to the graveyard. And it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects while you control a gadget monster or a gadget monster card equipped to a monster. And once returning, you can target one other card on the field and destroy it. Okay, so basically it protects itself, but the attack is kind of mediocre and it's not a quick effect, so I think a lot of people might not be interested in running it, but it is technically an extender and it can basically have you utilize, of course, Dynamo for those free um, extra cards that you have equipped to it to kind of protect itself, uh, and then you can link it off if you want to. I, I just wish the effect was a quick effect because then people might be more interested in running it. Next up, uh, we have a continuous spell card called Boot Up Command Gear Load, uh, which is uh, going to be this card over here. Um, this is Gear Charge. Keep in mind, uh, some of these names might change. Uh, actually, hold on, let me double check on this one because some of the uh, names might have changed uh, Gear Load. I want to make sure, okay, so yeah. Like I said, some of these names, if you're looking them up, they might just be a little bit different. So anyways, um, yeah, this is boot up order gear charge or boot up command gear load. Again, names might be a little different here. Um, anyways, when this card is activated, you can target any number of gadget monster cards you control that are equipped to a monster. You could just special summon the... Uh, and then you can discard one card to add one boot up admiral destroyer dynamo from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of boot up order gear charge once per turn. You can only activate one boot up order gear charge per turn. Okay, that's an insane effect. And as soon as it's activated, wow, that's great. I mean, you can already summon basically double of them, proc their effects. That's looking not too bad for gadgets. Uh, interesting. Uh, enough. Next up we have uh, Boot Up Command Gear Strength or Gear Force. Again, this might be a little different here uh, depending on what website you're looking at. Anyways, when uh, it's a trap card, it says uh, when any player's monster declares an attack and all monsters you control are face up, machine monsters minimum one, destroy attack with monsters your opponent controls up to the number of machine monsters you control. Um, I just don't see a point in this card unless there's something that searches up like boot order cards. I mean, you already have multiple mirror forces. You can already run drowning, storming. Like you have all these other options. Why bother with this card? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know why you'd play this card over other things. Uh, at least as of right now, I just don't really see a point in it. Uh, next up we have uh, uh, another, well, you know, what? we'll, we'll do, uh, these two, uh, th this one over here. So we have boot up soldier dread dynamo. This is white control, a gadget monster. This card gains 2000 attack. Okay. So it's pretty much just 2000 attack. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there'll be other cards that support boot up, but I don't see that card having too much utility, uh, other than of course, just being, uh, the stats. Uh, but there's another card over here, uh, which is a continuous trap, a uh, power hold the uh, moving battery, which is a continuous trap card. So special summon this card as an effect monster, machine earth level four, zero attack, uh, 2000 defense points says you can equip one level four gadget monster from your hand or deck to this card. This 
card is also still a trap. If summoned this way, this card gains attack equal to double the attack of the monster equipped to it by this effect. Um, and then also they reprint all the gadgets um, in this. Um, okay, so as far as, yeah, it reprints, it's literally every single gadget. Oh, I should type in gadget. Uh, so they are actually reprinting all of like green, yellow, red, uh, all of them, and I believe, yeah, green has the most attack, so you get a 2800 attacker, potentially just equipped to that uh, card, it's okay. Uh, next up for the Fire Fist, which is something I'm more interested in. Uh, so, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, uh, the first card that I want to go, oh, th these names are going to be really all over the place. Okay, so, uh, I'm just going to go over the ones that have like, the little um, emblem here. Uh, by the way, this is a cool little tip. If any of you guys want to see like the newer cards and you just type in like the archetype, um, if there's like this little symbol right here that looks like an equip spell, that's uh, meaning that it's like a new card or it's technically in beta. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So uh, this is Firefish uh, Ram here, and uh, it's a level three Beast Warrior effect, 800 attack, 200 defense points. And it says, if this card is normal summon, you get to discard one card, then target a Fire Formation spell or trap you control, and set one Fire Formation spell or trap uh, with a different name directly from your deck. If this card is special by the effect of a Fire Fist monster, you can set one Fire Formation spell slash trap directly from your deck with a different name from the cards in your graveyard. You can only use each effect of Fire Fist uh, Brotherhood of the Ram once per turn. Okay, that's uh. That's Ram. And the next up, we have the Fire Fist Elephant over here. Uh, and uh, Fire Fist Elephant. It's got a thousand attack. It's level four, Beast War, 1800 defense points. And it says this card is normal or special summon. You get to send one face up Fire Formation spell or trap. You control to the Graver to special summon a Fire Fist monster from your hand, except for itself. And then you can target one Fire Fist Formation spell or trap in your graveyard and shuffle it into the deck. Then you can add a level five or higher Fire Fist monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Elephant once per turn. Okay, and then next up though, we have um, Fire Fist Panda over here, which I think was the first card I mouse over. Okay, so Panda over here uh, is a level five, which is probably gonna support the previous card. Uh, anyways, if you activate a Fire Formation Spell or Trap, except during damage type, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon one Fire Fist uh, monster from your graveyard except for itself, and also you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Fire Fist monsters. And then if a Fire Fist monster you control would be destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can just send one face up spell uh, slash trap, oh, uh, one face up fire formation spell trap you control to the graveyard instead, you can only use your faction but once per turn. Okay, so you have a little bit of utility for recycling, and uh, Fire Fist still do technically have a link. Whoa, they got a new link monster? Okay, this could actually be pretty big. Um, what the heck, there's a, there's a, oh, wait, hold on. There's another Fire Fist monster called Elan? Again, some of these translations uh, might be... There's a ritual? Get out of here. What the heck? You... Okay, you know what? We'll just go it in this order. And then if I see... Because sometimes there'll be a card that supports Fire Fist, but it won't have Fire Fist in its name. And if I search for it, it'll just be awkward. Anyways, so that that's that's crazy. All right. Anyways, Peacock is a new Link monster for them. And I like that artwork, that's for sure. Anyways, it's a Link to Beast Warrior Fire with 1,000 attack. Two Fire Fist monsters, and it says... While this card points to a Fire Fist monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. When this card declares an attack, you can send one face up Fire Formation spell or trap card you control to the graveyard. Then take one monster your opponent controls, place that opponent's monster in a zone this card points to, and take control of it until the end phase. Wow. All we need is um, that, uh, what is it, the Macarena, the, the link monster that lets you use your opponent's, uh, well, lets you quick, quickly uh, like form a synchro. Uh, or formula link, I should say. It basically lets you use it on your opponent's turn. It's like a form of single for link monsters. That would be pretty cool. Um, anyways, you get to keep control of it until the end phase, and it cannot declare an attack this. Uh, uh, it cannot declare an attack this turn. You can only use this effect of it once per turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can declare the attack and then basically absorb it. Um, although it, it has a bunch of negative effects, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you'll be able to utilize it better than others. But it only takes the control until the end phase. Okay, and it's only, you know what? Only when this card declares attack. It's not when it's attacked. Okay, so never, never mind about the Macarena play. Um, but it's still a, a very cool card. It has a Snatch Steal uh, built in. But like I said, you're just gonna link off with it and there's a lot of downsides. But you can still activate that monster's effects, right? It takes control, it can't declare an attack this turn. Okay, so you can still utilize their effect. That can actually be pretty big as well. Um, but yeah, I can't declare an attack this turn. Anyways, um, so there's a level six. Uh, let, me, let me try this. Let me see if I can just find it. There is actually a ritual fire fist. What were they thinking? Anyways, you can ritual some of this card with fire formation and dome. 
um, you can discard one monster to sell one fire formation spell slash trap direct from your deck to your graveyard. And then when your opponent activates a monster effect as a quick effect, you just send one face up fire fist or fire formation card you control to the graveyard, except for uh, itself and negate that effect. Oh, it doesn't even destroy it. What? Okay, that's a huge disappointment. I mean, like, our final, like, okay, Fire Fist, quick effects, that's obviously what you need in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but the fact that it's not negate and destroy is a pretty big downside, let's be honest here. Um, anyways, um, we have a- wait, they got a fusion too? What the heck is wrong with- the, like, they're just like, they're just give them everything. Alright, next up, we have the Brotherhood Fire Fist, uh, Fist- Swan, which is a fusion, 2600 attack, 2200 defense points, fire at level 8, and it requires two Beast Warrior monsters. And it says if this card is special summoned, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each fire formation spell trap you control. And then during the battle phase, as a quick effect, you get to send one face up fire formation spell slash trap you control to the graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Um, you can only use each effect of it once per- Okay, so it doesn't even negate the effect. Like, they-, they both of these, like, you know, they have kind of halfway of, of the effects that you actually need in Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's just- I feel like it's not, uh, enough. And then, uh, they, they mentioned, uh, Peacock, which we already, uh, technically went over. And then we have Fire Fortress, uh, okay. So there's a Fire Fortress card. Uh, Fort- Did they remove the- or change- Oh, you know what? That's because we're searching Monster Fortress. Okay, so this is uh, in beta. So uh, keep in mind, sometimes some of these cards may not work properly as soon as they're out. But anyways, uh, Fire Fortress, a top lane peak. So this uh, card is always treated as a Fire Formation card. Each time a Fire Fist monster is normal or special summon, place one Fire Fist counter on this card. Once per turn, you can move Fire Fist counters uh, from your field to activate one of the effects. Uh, so if it's two, uh, if your Beast Warrior monster attacks this turn, your opponent can't activate any... Uh, cards or effects until the end of the damage step wow uh okay uh okay so but you, you do have to remove the counters for that effect if you have six you get to add one beast warrior monster from your deck to your hand if you have 10 you get to spell for someone one beast warrior monster from your deck or extra deck oh okay now, now these other awkward cards are making so much sense but that's actually really good uh if you can get 10 counters and remember it it requires you to place one counter, um, but with, of course, going for Rooster, like, you can actually get up a lot of counters, and I'm sure that someone will figure out how to special summon ten times with it, and then, basically, I think what someone's gonna end up doing is going for the link combo, uh, of just spamming the board, you're gonna be, I don't know if the Fire Fist will do, like, that. the link plays will be that great, because one of them technically locks you into Fire Fist monsters, so that's kind of a huge downside for that, uh, but I'm sure that someone will figure out how to maybe get out double, uh, like, you'll have one monster, like, you'll get one of the fusion, and then you'll have one of the rituals, and then you'll be, like, pass. But then you have one negate, and then one destroy. I don't know, it doesn't negate and destroy. Again, that's why I feel like the, the deck suffers. But anyways, uh, we have another fire, uh, formation, which is Dome. Um which is a continuous spell card. It says, when this card is activated, you can ritual summon one beast warrior ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed its level. If this face-up card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, you can target a fire fist monster in the graveyard and special summon it. You can only use this effect at once per turn. I feel like we're gonna definitely use that other part of the effect. I like how it's it's a continuous fire formation. That's also a uh, continuous. Okay, and that actually gives you original summon. Okay, and then next up we have one called Ingen, which is a continuous spell card. So Fire Formation Ingen uh, is a continuous spell card. It says when this card is activated, you can fusion summon one Beast Warrior fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If this face-up card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, you get to target one Fire Fist monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of Fire Formation Ingen once per turn. And you can only activate one Fire Formation Ingen once per turn. Okay, so Fire Fists are getting so much card. But they finally get a counter trap card, also called the Fire Formation uh, Sinto, uh, which is the ultimate fire formation. All right. So when a spell trap card is activated, you can draw a Fire Fist monster in a Fire Fist formation spell trap. You get to negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. You can only activate one of them per turn. Okay. Here's the downside. It doesn't stop monster effects, which is, I mean, they, they just. I mean, like, yeah, they have this card that does this, this card that does this, and then this card that, that well, you have one that's, that destroys a card, you have one that can negate a card, but they're all separate, and then the card that was supposed to be able to, like, the Omni negate was unfortunately just 
uh, it fell a little bit short. Uh, also, uh, if any you know, of you guys are interested in the reprints, they're reprinting literally like everything. Gorilla, Bear, Spirit, Rooster, Cardinal, Tiger King, Tenki, Tenso, and Yoko. And then uh, there's OCG imports um, also. Uh, I'll link it down below if any of you guys want to read the rest of the, like, the imports, but I just figured I'd mention the ones that are important here. Uh, and there's, oh, okay, other reprints, uh, Subterra Phoenix, Hidden City, uh, a bunch of the Amorphages, Mystical Beast, Master Cerberus, okay, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, which is actually pretty good for uh, Super Poly. Uh, but uh, overall, um, how do I feel about the Fire Fist? Oh, wait, you know what? There's a new card. Now, these ones weren't leaked, but uh, these ones were just showing off. This is a, oh gosh, does the name, uh, Ayuchi? Okay, I guess they changed the name. What is it? Strike? It's a quick play. Uh, let's see if I can actually find it in here. Whoops. Uh, so there's a few other cards. Okay, here it is. Uh, is it Tal or T-A-I? Oh, maybe T-A-1 Strike. Anyways, quick play spell cards. It says, during the damage calculation of your monster battles, an opponent's monster, uh, your battling monster's attack becomes equal to the attack of the opponent's monster. It's battling during that damage calculation only. Also, the controller of a monster destroyed by that battle takes damage equal to their destroyed monster's original attack at the end of the damage step. If your Agnister monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only activate one of uh, TA1 strike per turn. And then lastly, we have a new uh, Fire Formation Phoenix at Ignister. Okay, they actually, oh, does, it, does the other card not register? Uh, is it, did it do like Fire Dash? Oh, you know why? It's because we're looking in the wrong. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, I guess, wait, we are still in spell. Okay, my bad. All right, so uh, the other new Fire Phoenix at Ignis is a two plus, oh, I'm sorry, it's a link three, and it requires two plus cybers, monsters. And it says, during damage calculation, if this card attacks, you're, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's attack, which is 2300. And if you do, your opponent takes no battle damage from that battle. And if this card is destroyed by a, by card effect, probably should say by a card effect, whatever. You can destroy one monster your opponent controls, and then during the next standby phase after this link card was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card. Okay, uh, from your graveyard, you can only use each effect about once per turn. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm really curious to see how you guys feel about the Fire Fist. Again, I feel like they, they just really lacked the... Um, if I could spell. Um, I feel like they lack like the, what like the meta in Yu-Gi-Oh is, but like if you can get the ten counters, you special summon one. I mean, some of my favorite are some crazy combos, um, but it's so limiting um, what you can do, uh, of course, uh, with it because uh, where is it? Well, whatever you, you guys saw it. Like it, it's a one counter versus with like the six samurai gateway you're putting multiple counters on it it almost reminds me of it though like it really does but the thing that makes it so good is it's literally like you're placing double yeah with six counters but that's three summons the other one requires you to summon five times granted i know you can special summon multiple times and in the ocg they have triple gateway and six sams aren't even doing anything like I almost feel like it's kind of like gateway for them, but it will maybe open up the doors for some broken, like, uh, potential plays, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm also curious how you guys feel about the uh, gadgets. Is it good enough? I, I think, again, it just needs to be quick effects in order for them to be viable. And, and they, they could get so much better uh, later down the line in case they get any new support. But love to know your thoughts down below. Are you guys interested in playing gadgets and or Fire Fist? And if so, which one do you guys think is going to be better? I think Fire Fist has more potential. I mean, especially something from the deck or extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Um... That, that that could be insane. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell so you don't miss out when new Yu-Gi-Oh cards get leaked or shown off. And if you guys don't want to send me replays, send me some replays on Fire Fist and the gadgets. We'd love to see like, how good they actually are. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.